crafty friends it's Beverly here over at crafting chaos and i have just bringing to you a slightly different video um i've been had a request from a friend of mine if i do a video on how to do this technique so basically what i've done is created my card panel and it's ready to make into a electronic light up card so that's what we're going i'm going to be showing you how to do today now you can buy the really expensive well i think they're very expensive um kits from chibitronics or for a fraction of the cost if you fancy trying this you can do your own kit and i can make links to how to where to buy the copper tape the leds and the batteries that you will need for the card now there are two types of leds that you can use there are this type like so with the little two prongs like so i've got them in various colors and also these like strip leds for day today we're going to be using the strip leds but i am going to be showing you I'm going to be using one of my other LEDs just to test that the battery is working because what we don't want is to get all set up, realise that there's something wrong and there's something that is wrong is the battery and everything else is fine. So if I put that onto the battery top and bottom, it's clearly lighting up in blue, so we're good to go. Right, now then, so we're going to be using one of these LEDs today. So I'm going to put these away. So I've got my battery ready. I've got, I'm going to get my LED, so I only need one. They come in, it looks a bit like a film strip almost. So I'll put those away so we're not confusing the issue. I've got my double-sided tape ready and I've got my copper tape, which is going to act like kind of conductive wiring, if you will. Now, um, I first, I, I kind of came up with this idea because I wanted to do something fun for the children in my year seven classes so that's like ages 11 and 12 when we're doing circuits just to make it a little bit more interesting i thought it would be quite good fun if we actually made something using different components but by understanding the principles of how circuits worked they'd be able to get a lot out of this now now, I'm not suggesting anybody needs to know the whys and wherefores, and I'm not going to go into the scientific principles in this video, but I'm going to show you how to do it, if you will. So, first of all, I need to find a piece of scrap card as well. So, we can use a piece of black, that'll be fine. I want a nice piece of black, um, nice piece of card that I can use to make my switch. Because clearly, we don't want the um, card to be lit all the time. Otherwise, it's going to be not very long before the battery runs out. So first of all, if we basically have a look at what we're aiming for. So let me find a clean sheet in my... Uh, there's all kinds in here. I just do lots and lots of notes of what i'm going to do and what i've got planned to do so basically we're going to have a battery like so and that's going to have copper wiring leading from underneath let me find my battery and the underneath side is the negative side so that piece is going to be negative and then we're going to have our switch which is going to be a piece of cardboard scored, which will fold. And then the second piece needs to come along this folded side so that when it folds over, it comes into contact down the other side. And then it's got to come back up here. Like so, if you will, and that'll be the positive. And we're going to bridge the gap between the circuits there to create a full circuit. So the so the electricity can flow around the circuit with using the LED. Okay, so that's where we're headed. So if, if you get an idea of what you're doing on a piece of scrap paper before you start, it does help. Now, just let me get that out of the way. So I've got it to refer to, but there we go. So now what we need to do is work out whereabouts on our card 
this needs to be so i've cut myself a piece of card that i'm going to use and i'm going to put my switch underneath the word magic so i'm going to work out i'm going to bring my paper in again because i'm going to need it to work out how far because this is all stuck down this is just a panel so i just want to place this where it's going to be and i think i'll just hold it in position with a piece of post-it tape for now just while i do my measuring now it's not critical that it is absolutely accurate but what i'm aiming to do is light up the star that's shining down on the baby jesus if you will so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure across here to where the center of the word magic is and i can't get my ruler flat now with my piece of paper so that's about two inches so it's going two across by two inches and then from the bottom it's coming up by about three quarters of an inch so that's going to be the position of the battery okay so then in terms of the of the for the star if we come down from the top of the card to the center of the star again it's about so let's just get it in position somewhere between one it's not quite two it's one and five sixteenths of an inch uh, sorry um not five sixteenths what am i talking about so let me just work this out two four six seven eighths of an inch sorry so one one point two or one point one two three four five six yeah seven eighths of an inch and then going in oh dear i keep moving it it's not very sticky this tape it's not holding it where i want it to be that's a little bit better maybe it doesn't want to stick to the board so let's come across from this way now so from this way it needs to be two and three quarters so so it's coming down by one and seven eighths of an inch and in by one did i say one and three quarters let's just measure again measure twice as the same goes yeah and 1.75 inches in okay so now we can take our panel away for now because we've finished with that for the mint time being so i'll put that somewhere safe and we'll get on to placing these now you're going to need a pencil so i'll just find my trusty pencil where are you okay so what we've got is we know it's got to be three inches up so i'm going to line it up mark for three inches no, it can't be three inches up, surely. Let me just re-measure that. Can't be three inches up. One point, one point two five inches up. So one point two five, and we're going to line that up and draw a mark there. Okay. So I'm just going to. I'm not going to do it all the way across because I don't need to. But I'm just going to extend it a little bit. So that's that first line. And then it's in by... Let's back on. Let's just recheck our measurements. Um, two. So we need to come in by two. So if I make a mark at two, we know that that's now the centre of where the battery needs to be. Okay. So when you've got that bit there, that's where the battery is. So when we cross that bit, hopefully, we light our circuits. And then we're going to measure, and we said that was two and a half across. So we're going to measure two and a half from this side and make a mark. And again, we're going to extend it a bit. It doesn't need to be all the way. It's just going to be where the panel is anyway. So it's not going to show. And it needs to be... 1.75 inches down so 1.75 inches down so that is where the star is going to be so that's where we want the led to be okay 
so that's where we're up to so we've got position now for our if we put that back on you can see more or less. so that's going to be the position of the battery and this is going to be the position of the of the led so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make our switch so basically for this all we need is a piece of cardstock that's wider than the battery which i seem to have just put to one side so i'm going to check it i'm going to make a little mark so i'm going to make it about that wide so i'm just going to use my paper trimmer to get it the right width okay seems to have run out a bit i don't want it too big i need it to be a bit bigger than that actually i'm going to use the other piece I'm going to use this piece and I'm going to cut it down and fold it in half. So basically all I'm making is a switch for the battery like so. Okay, so that's the battery. Now, what we do need to do is make like a, almost like a second score line but not too pronounced so so that we've got a bit of room for our battery to fit inside so we're going to try at that so i'm just going to not make them super the creases but just enough to make our switch okay so now i'm just going to trim it down So it's not too big so our switch is going to be going here in the middle there like so so i'm going to put some glue onto my switch and i'm going to stick it in sorry onto my paper switch and stick it into position now you need a good strong glue for this because you don't want it to move once you've got your circuit in position like so so the battery is going to fit in here like so and that will be our switch and when we've built up when we press down that should make the connection so oh, let's move it a little bit there that's okay right so i'm just going to get my bone folder now because i can reinforce the score lines a little bit now so i'm just going to reinforce that like so all right now so what we're going to do next is we're going to lay down our conductive tape and this is our copper if you will and i just put a little bit of a sticky on so i didn't lose the end so this one needs to come under the battery and up to where the led is going to be so i'm going to cut myself a piece that's long enough and i've got absolutely loads of this tape so i'm not too worried and it was very very cheap so i'm not worried about there being a little bit of waste now so this is double-sided tape so we need to peel back the edge and i'm just struggling at the minute because it is a bit fiddly this bit but once you've got it going you're okay so let me just try again there now i've got the start of it but i can't there I think we've got it now. Now it is very, very sticky. And I'm just going to neaten off the edge now so that we've got a nice, neat start for our circuit, if you will. So we're going to lay down the circuit. So now I'm going to start in the middle of there. And I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to feed it in and get narrower and narrower in until... We get to get to the point where we're very, very close when we get to that point where we need the LED to fit. And then I've, once I've done that, I'm going to trim. And then using my bone folder to make sure everything is flush and nicely adhered to the card, I'm going to do that. So that's the first part of the circuit. Okay, so I can save that one in my electric circuit box this is going to be now our next piece and it is easier just to remove it from the roll 
and work from just one piece otherwise you're dealing with the weight of the roll plus everything else and I'm sorry I'm a little bit hoarse today but um I've been I don't really I've not really been sleeping very well and I'm not really sure why but it does seem to be having an effect on my throat so I'm going to put that down there we need to come over and it's really important that we do not break our circuit so if we do we're going to have to patch it and I'd rather not do that I'm going to come back on myself and come back up to create a fold if you will because we need to be coming back in this direction so once I've got that I'm going to unpick up oh, so maybe not have done that but there we go so I'm going to stick it down and I'm just going to be working my way in working my way in so that that piece is going to be real close when we get where that LED needs to be there take it a little bit past and trim okay so I'm going to come in with the bone folder again squash it down so we're getting a really good connection and inside so now when that's in there and that put, touches that metal touches that metal and it's already touching the metal there when we secure it in place then we're going to hopefully have a circuit so i'm going to get my led and this is also a little bit fiddly I'm getting them out of the packaging but oh that was quite an easy one so what we're going to do now is work which work out which way around it goes because it's got three little connections on one side and three little connections on the other end it may be marked but my eyes are so not good enough to see it so i'm going to try it with that way first oh and as luck would have it we seem to have got the the right way around the first time so we know now that it's got to go on our circuit that way around and all i'm going to do to secure it is take some sticky tape and I'm going to secure it in place and we've got to push really hard down make sure it's making a really good connection I'm just going to push down with my bone folder around the tape make sure the tape's laying down as flat as I can get it so there's no bubbles and it's holding that down so let's put our battery back in and there's our circuit working now so now what we've got to do is obviously we need to secure the battery. So again, using some tape, because it doesn't matter about your workings because none of this is going to show. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape that's running just a little bit on that side just to hold it in place so we're not affecting the, and keep testing everything you do make sure that your circuit's still working. And now what we need to do, this is where our double-sided tape comes in because we now need to start to build up around our battery so i'm going to put a double layer of foam just get the first layer down first of all because we don't want it to be on all the time oops got a bit of copper foil attached there i don't think it's going to affect anything i'll leave it and we need a small piece for in the middle to join those two up and that's a little bit too big so this is the finicky bit really so now at the minute still touching see everything still works so i'm going to put another layer of the sticky tape on top of that so okay so then we need another sticky plate sticky piece like so hang on we need to put that tape back on yet because just remembered we don't take that off just yet i need to test it first because i did that last time and then really got quite in a mess with trying to unstick it when i'd stupidly stuck it back down when i knew really I didn't want it to be stuck down, so I'm just building like a, a layer above now. So when that's closed now, that's protect when that's when that paper gets stuck to these sides, which I'm gonna do now and you'll see what I mean. So now if I take it off and I stick 
I stick my paper down. Now it's not on, but if I touch it, when I've got it in my card, it will come on and off. So all I need to do now is build two layers of tape on the card. Now we need to make a note of where it's going to be. Put it in position, we'll just get it in position. Should press where magic is. Oh, just stuck it to my tape again. So when we press magic, it should light. So I'm going to go around the perimeter of the card and go down a little bit that side and a little bit at this side. And then, oh, done it again. So just keep testing, everything should be working. Um, and I can go a little bit. So we need a little bit here. Let's see which way down we're going. So I do need some here. Side, so we might need to just tear that one back a bit. Okay, so now we're going to just test it in place. So we do need another layer on there, obviously, to make it the same height as this one. So I'm going to remove the tape off here now. Just removing the tape right from where we are and then I need to just make another layer on top so I'm just going to do that now not worrying too much if they aren't exactly the same length just thereabouts because it's the height we need I could have folded it over and done double which would have been much quicker but hey ho I'm going the long route so I'm just Sticking them down, so we've got this double layer of tape. Pulling up the backing as I go, two to go. back in our card base and press it we know it's working Oop, I need to move that one off now just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room I'm going to put a little bit of glue so it gives us we're going to get that grab but we're going to get a bit of um, grace if you will if we don't get it just perfectly straight so I'm just putting a little bit I'm sure you've all done this before just to give yourself that little bit of uh, time to get the position just perfect so I'm sorry, excuse my head if it goes into the camera shot so there we are and now when we press it it should light I mean, it is lighting it's just a little bit difficult to see with the bright light on so let's there we go so it's lighting the card as you can see okay so it will be much brighter in the daytime okay so that's how you make a light up card so i'm trying to make it dark so you can see let's see if we can get it so the camera there we go so when we press magic you can see that it's lighting up hopefully 
I'm not in the way. So I could have done to have turned the lights off. So that's one that I've made. Um, and I made another version of this one. This is the one that my friend saw and wanted. And for some reason that one's much brighter. But I think that that's because the card's a bit thinner and it's much not as dark as this one. So they're both working. There's the so I made a little life preserver here for the press button. Um, so that's how you make an electronic card using an alternative to the Tubitronics, which I think are very expensive. So if you wanted to have a go at that, all you need to get is some copper tape, the LEDs and the batteries. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. It's a bit different for me. I don't normally do videos like this. But if you have enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Um, if you've enjoyed it and you think some of your friends might want to see the video, think that might be useful to them, please let them know where they can find me. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so to make it shine a little bit brighter so that the, the recipient can see what's happening in um, the daytime rather than just when it's dark, all I've done is just punched some tiny little holes in the star. So now when we press, we can see that the star is lighting up which I think children will absolutely love like that. And what I'm going to actually do for this one on the envelope is I'm going to write a little message, press the magic, so they know to press it, because otherwise it doesn't necessarily lend itself to being anything other than sort of a layered card. So that's my first Christmas card this year, but it did just seem quite a nice um, idea to show you how to put this card together. So... If you've got a dark background or a thicker card here and it's not showing through as brightly as you want it to, if it lends itself to be able to do that like I've just done, it works really well. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you my solution to it not showing up brilliantly when it was um, daytime. It was showing, but it was quite faint really, not quite as dramatic as actually seeing them glowing in when you press it on the magic. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.